Hey guys, today um, we've got something kind of special. Uh, I think it's special. Um, it's Sunday. We just got out of church. Um, we had a big windstorm last night and it has knocked down a lot of pecans around our house. We got three or four pecan trees and uh, we're going to start picking up pecans today with the kids. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rustic Woodwork. Tonight I'm making a video because Dutch made me. So what I do, I, I, I don't necessarily have a homestead. I have a small, I have a YouTube channel called Rustic Woodwork. I have a YouTube channel called Rustic Woodwork. We started this channel about six months ago. We do not have a homestead, but we have been watching Keeping It Dutch for the last couple years, and it has been tremendous for me and my family. Hey guys, it's Brandon with what? Well, little, little, little. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rustic Woodwork. Tonight, we're going to be making a video because the Dutch made us. We have a small channel called Rustic Woodwork. We started about six months ago, and basically, the, it's the things we build in our shop. On the homestead part, do I have a homestead? No. I live in a city. I live in a small town. We're going to be building a house in about a year, so I'm hoping we can start a homestead then because we'll be living out in the country. Right now, we live in the city limits. Um, I, really, I really do hope that you will go check Keeping It Dutch out. He's a very respectful man. I've never heard any curse words during his videos. It is a great family channel to actually sit down and watch with your family. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rust Woodwork tonight. We're going to be making a video because Dutch made us. We have a small YouTube channel. We have a small... We have... We just started a YouTube... We just started a YouTube channel about six months ago. We first started it and I did not... We started a YouTube channel about six months ago. Basically, rustic woodwork. So what we mainly do is build things out of wood, different kinds of stuff. All the things we build, most of the time we give them away to our audience. Um, we're trying to get more people to we're trying to get other people to subscribe to our channel. I started a YouTube channel about six months ago. I've only posted eight or nine videos. Most of them was within the last six, seven days. Also, I would like to add to Keeping It Dutch. I Also, I'd like to say that I have never spoke with Keeping It Dutch, but we've watched hundreds of his videos. Um, Keeping the Dutch, I know that you you are in the Mar I know that you were in the Mar I know that you were in the Marine Corps. So obviously I looked today to see if there was an address to ship things to you because I would like to ship you a a rustic American flag. I'm hoping that you do have time to watch this video. I really would like to ship you this American flag for all the great things that you have done for me and my family by just watching the videos and having family time together. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rustic Woodwork. As you see, I've got a flag hanging here. It says Rustic Woodwork and Family. Well, today we went over to visit a friend over in, with Smoky CNC Woodwork. And while we was over there, um, I, I took a couple flags with us, and uh, he came up with the design uh, and, and carved this into the flag. He's got a CNC machine that he built from ground up. It is a real awesome machine. I wish that I, I had the ability to build something like that. The two Otis kids um, like YouTube as well. They want to be in some of the videos and show some of the things they do, so... I talked to the wife and we decided that we would just go ahead and change the rust woodwork over to rustic woodwork and family. So basically our channel is going to have woodworking, uh, it's going to have family events, um, day to day interactions, things about our family. Um. Hey guys, this is Brandon with uh, rustic woodwork and family and uh, first of all we'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. We hope everybody has a blessed day. Um, it's it's kind of rainy and drizzly and kind of cool here in Oklahoma. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, go through our chores and uh, we're going to go ahead and feed the dogs before we're off to our first Thanksgiving for the family. All right, Roxy's pen's a, a little ways back here behind the actual yard where we train. So we're walking down there to go ahead and feed her and get her pen cleaned up. And then we're going to be off to our family for Thanksgiving. That's what our forefathers would have done. Hey guys, it's Slayton with my dad here. Okay, I try and do something different. Alright, you're good. Just do it like you normal. How you doing? Hey guys, it's Slayton with Russ Woodworking Family, and today we're gonna be telling you about our plans for the future. So we're going to be getting some chicken, some bunny rabbits, and some goats. And probably on Monday, my dad's going to be getting our supplies for the chicken pen. Sounds like he's all excited. Sounds like he's super excited about that. I don't know if we're going to get all of them things that quick. So, yes, he, Leighton is right. We're going to uh, start working on uh, building a chicken pen here in this next coming week. And we're going to start getting some chickens. Um, you know, the kids has, has wanted animals for a while. Uh, we was in a process of hoping to get to start to build our house this year, but unfortunately it's, we're going to have to move it back just a little bit further, so hopefully we'll start at the first of the next year. But anyways, like I said, it's, you know, I think it's good, you know, kids have animals, you know, it you know shows them some responsibility and how to take care of something and how to care for something. And which we'll probably get some rabbits too. Addison, she wants some rabbits in case and does, but Layton's always wanted some chickens and now he's gonna have the opportunity. So recently I think you got a few feeder cows, right? Yeah. Beef. Yeah, we got a um, steer and a heifer. We was wanting to get that steer fat enough to, to butcher and keep that heifer to breed back, but it's not looking like he's gonna yeah. He make was the pretty way. poor and we got him. We got him for free. That's yes, how poor he was. He was so <laughs> well. Awesome. All right, guys. So there you go. Go check out Where Homestead. Homestead. Homestead right there on his shirt. Mm. <clears throat> All right, guys. Like. Of, but our channel pretty much it's uh we just got a little homestead there we call it homestead because you know it's been in my family for like Almost 60 years. 70 80 years awesome. a long awesome. time so uh more heads have always lived on that property and we built a farmhouse two years ago yeah. on it yeah. yeah, you guys got some videos of uh, farmhouse tour. It did yep. really well. Yeah, it did really well. It's our best video to date so awesome. far. Well, we just, it's just a family friendly. Wow. Well, that is why you skin them instead of, uh, or, uh, yeah. scrape them instead of skin them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really. It's an armadillo show. Yeah. All, right, guys. All right, guys, thank each and every one of y'all for watching. Like I said, all right, guys, we'd like to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you have not yet, please go check out the Walker Farm Fam. You absolutely love their channel, as we talked about them earlier. A great family channel. So, um, also this concept here, I'll let you know how this works out. I want to, uh, I want the feed to come out a little bit better, but we'll just see what happens. It'll work for now. So, thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you, and God bless you. Good night. Is it going? Yep, you're going. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, 
Y'all hear what what that bolo was saying is Santa's flying around in the sleigh. Yeah, and he, he's looking to see if kids are already asleep. I hear something in the sky though. I hear something in the sky. It's going. What you doing now? Finish what y'all got to do. When mom tells y'all go to bed, y'all better go to bed because he's here. They've already spotted him. Somebody spotted him. I'm going so, to bed. I'm going to pass. I'll see y'all after a while. All right. All right. Be sure to put that food out there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go, Dad. There you go. All right. Let's, Let's do go. it. Go out to the property and brush hog some uh, uh, acre so we can actually uh, start getting everyone in to go ahead and uh, do their inspections, make sure everything works out. Um, and we get everything in the right spot. Super excited. This is the day that we've been waiting for. So thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos and if the dream's finally coming true. So let's go. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the country sounded so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes and a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll draw a hand I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air hey Guys, that's gonna wrap our day up um, we've been out here for three or four hours. We've been brush hogging, just cleaning the area out where we're actually going to put the house. So, um, man, it was awesome to actually finally get out here and get some work done. And it's a start for the property and start uh, building our house and getting everything out here to move our family out here. So hopefully um, 
the next step will come soon we'll come back out and clean up some trees and stuff so but i mean it looks pretty nice back it there now. it's all flat now yeah it's all flat and uh we're just ready to get some of that stuff done so today we're going to go ahead and start from the the very bottom of our property kind of walk back and kind of show you where everything's going to go and uh i'll also put some aerial footage in it as well uh i always like seeing uh aerial always like seeing aerial footage um i love flying the drone everywhere it's absolutely awesome but um first as you see we got an old dairy old milk barn here and uh, i've never really went through it so uh, while we got a little bit of daylight we're going to go ahead and go in here and see what's in it so are you ready let's go see what's up in here all right we got to be careful oh it looks like a mess a lot of cleaning up to do this is the front of it the bricks it's been here a while there's an old stove right there. Uh, let's kind of take a look in here. Wow, there's a bunch of junk. I hope snakes ain't out right now. Might as well take the crates with us. You can always use a good crate. I hope this thing don't fall. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It's got cracks all over it. Then, huh? if that block breaks or that bro block breaks or that one, it it We're going to be in the bind, ain't we? Yeah. We've got to, uh, going, I, I did learn in the live comments last night, or I did learn, hold on. I did learn in the comments on our live last night that we was told to get some uh, hogs and put in here and they would, uh, they'd fix it up so uh, it would start holding water again. So anyways, this is the opening of the pond. Um, which I was told last night is hogs would uh, pack it in. So we may put us a uh, fence around it and put us a bunch of hogs in here and let them take care of their business. All right, we're gonna go take a look at the other pond and then we'll walk up on the, uh, at the very top where our house is. Yeah, the other pond. And we'll walk up to the uh, part where our house is gonna be. That's the, the small pond. Um, it's got water in it. Now it was dry, pretty dry at one time. You see this is the very, very tip part of our property. And uh, this is where we're gonna put the house, right here. Uh, probably start from this tree here, on back to that uh, little brush pile, and then over. This is, yeah, pretty close, somewhere in this area that we're gonna actually put the house. Um, huh? We may, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Um, Oh, it sure is, ain't it? Oh my goodness. That wasn't there the other day. Yeah. It probably came out. Super just... excited. This is this is it then. Um, Should there be more? Yeah. Go ahead and stay right here. Let's walk this way. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to stay right here? that's an old stove uh my old partner ben uh ben he's going to be uh picking up some of these uh bricks but uh we've got to really just come through here and start knocking everything down wow the pond's getting quite a bit of water in it mm -hmm. these panels here I don't know how hard it is going to be to take the panels and stuff down. Um, we'll just we'll just see. Looks like there's four or five of them. So, anyways, this is the back side of the barn. Yeah, there's 
there's several panels in here. I may come around here and, and take all the wood out. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think the, the panels are worth saving? We got some real helpers now coming. As you can see, we have got the, the barn down. Uh, there was a loud bang while ago, so we're not really for sure what that was. Alright, once again, here is the northeast corner. The barn is officially down, and uh, we're ready for the roadway now. So, as y'all see, uh, there's a pole right here and a pole right here. That's where the roadway is going to begin, all the way up to the top. So, it goes straight right here, then it kind of turns inward, and yeah. then goes back outward. Right. Let's it... get the property. Uh, we're going to try to smooth everything up today and uh, get some brush and everything uh, piled up. Maybe uh, get us a uh, a big brush fire. I don't know. We'll just have to check it up. I don't know. Probably from that pole to right about here. I don't know how I'm going to do it quite yet. Uh, this corner post here, and I'm going to move it down to where the green uh, stake is. That's going to be the alignment of the actual easement. So I'm going to move the H brace to the uh, green post. And then that's going to leave a pretty good, that's going to leave a pretty good gap through here for a roadway. And it'll be able to, to build it up.
there's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch Is all I dream This is Saturday, and this is day three that we've been out here hauling dirt. Um, I think we got a total of about 14 loads of dirt that we brought up here to the front, and now we're fixing to come back through and put uh, a few more going up to the hill. So uh, definitely been hauling a lot of dirt, four loads today, and uh, Afterwards, I'll come up here and uh, get the truck and I'll go back and forth, back and forth to pack it in. And um, after that, we should get be getting pretty close to our, our rock. Super excited about it. Really, really, it's awesome. We're, we're getting one step closer every, every single day.
like something now. Use that ladder, Brennan. <laughs> Just, uh, I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's something that we can actually, you know, raise our family in until we get our house built. Um, like I say, it's got some minor um, problems, but we've stayed a few nights in it already, and it has worked out amazing. Um, I'm trying to show Brandon what I'm talking about where we want to sit it because at first we really wanted to sit it right beside the shed but in order to do that we're gonna have to caddy corner it because the truck will not fit in there Alright guys, so we have got the trailer in. It's all hooked up. The AC's going. We got power. We got storage. our storage trailer here now. So we are uh, we're we're moving on up in the world now. Just completed the circle drive. I went ahead and did a circle drive because that's what she wanted. I will say spreading rocks a lot harder than what it looks like. Place for a while and your mind and your eyes get adjusted to it and then you move it and it looks really really weird. All right I appreciate it. All right guys how exciting it is leveled. Oh yeah, it's fluffy. Oh wow, you can almost lay down in this stuff. Go ahead. No, I'll pass. It's just got all kinds of roots in it. So this is what this, um, the direct burial, um, is that what it's called? Weed barrier. So, like I say, is this weed barrier, once we come through here, once we get the weed barrier down, what that's going to eliminate is the actual grass coming up and that'll keep us from having to weed it all the time. What are y'all guys doing? Y'all see me up here, so y'all come up here. There's Cinderella. Y'all gonna come and graze up on the hill? Where's Badger? I guess I tilled it a little deep. We got the outside one, it does pretty good though. It's set out that we're going to be planting. Um, and like I say, we're new to this, so we're, we're, going, we're learning as we go. Um, that's just the way we operate. 
and uh, a follower. you're you're a follower, aren't you? But um, we're super excited. We want to thank all of our new subscribers that has joined our family. Thank y'all so much for coming over and showing y'all support to our our uh, our family and our farm, our animals. Guys, well, we changed our mind just a little bit. We're gonna actually do the peppers up front here, just so it's not so bushy with the tomatoes being right there on the front. Just go ahead and uh, put these. Uh, peppers out so we don't and we bought a bunch of peppers because we like eating the uh, bacon wrap with the peppers they're delicious and we eat a bunch of them All right. easy with it not needed but Thank you, thank you, big girl. Yeah, you did a good job. You was hustling. Yeah, like a big girl goes away. All right, go on the front. Hair casing. Hair brushing. Here, get this, get that to your dad. In there like that. Uh -huh. We've been waiting on this next surprise for several years, several years, and um, and it's finally here. Yeah, they uh, obviously they got a lot more leveling to do, but they just kind of started everything, and we are super excited about it. Um, I don't know, it's crazy that this day is here. We've waited for several, several years, and it's finally here. And let me tell you, it was so hard because we got cameras all over our property. And yesterday morning, we started getting notifications about nine o'clock of vehicles pulling in. And one of these days where we're standing, we're gonna be filming right here inside our house. And um, that's awesome. But this up, uh, they're building the pad up here. And um, the reason why they're building it with screenings is it sets a better foundation for the house. They haven't had any problems out of it. And uh, let me tell you, these guys mean business when they, they're building these houses. I uh, spoke with the, the main gentleman over this project and um, he, he it's going to be built as if it was going to, he was going to move in it. And uh, that's awesome to hear. But um, Steph, I don't know if, um, I'm gonna kind of show you over here uh, what what they kind of told me yesterday is this stake here is just kind of the layout of the pad. So this here, this black mark here, this is where the end of the house is. That's where this level is going to be. That's that's exactly where the the pad so is the going to finish. Gonna be this, like my feet's gonna be right here. Yeah, the pad will finish <laughs> there and. and um, all the extra dirt and they, they have here, uh, they're going to taper it off here on this backside and we're going, uh, they're going to run the lateral lines and stuff like that. Okay. But, um, and it, same thing over on that corner, it, it's a little bit, uh, higher or it's right on top. Yeah, it's right on top. He's got the X there, it's on top. And then if we look down here. Moving it down here, you can see the um, the mark, the line right here, and that's where it's going to be on this end. Okay, so that it's pretty much because this is lower. No, this the, is this, higher than over there. Yes, yes. So that's why it's got to kind of okay. Yeah. Just to level it out. To level everything okay. out, and then over there, the same deal is. Uh, yeah, and you can kind of tell that. And then plus nowadays the th the and plus nowadays the dozers and stuff they have here, um, I can guarantee you that's a new dozer. So it's got all kinds of computers. Another thing we talked about yesterday was the trees that are coming out. So um, kind of show you on that where what trees are coming out. 
he actually said the corner of the house um, is going to be somewhere right in here. This is like right here will be like the corner of the garage. Oh, so that's, they just do a little bit out. Yeah, yeah, they they have to give them more room to work out here. Okay. And, um, Is that about on each side? Uh, about on each side, yeah. Yeah, they have to build the pad bigger than, yeah. than that so they have room to work with. And this tree right here is going to come out um, because it's going to actually be pretty close to the driveway here of our road. Um, they got dirt in there now. Let's see if I can... I mean, he said we could keep it if we wanted it, but that's Bodart. Yeah. So I asked them if they'd go ahead and take it out. And he asked, is there any other trees you would like to take out, you know, over here? Because our propane tank is going to be set right over there. So um, we're going to actually take out all these trees here. Oh, really? All of them? Yeah. Um, because look, it's just the cedar tree, cedar tree. Um, Um, Steph wanted to keep some of these trees, so we kind of figured we'd take out the ones that um, we wanted out, and hopefully the rest of them can stay. If not, they can uh, take them out. All right, I just told the kids to get out that we have plenty of low grass area. We made them stay in the car when there was high grass. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away trick too with these grooves. Yeah, so now we're gonna go we're gonna put that this will go a, up. That's a live edge there. So so get up on top of that one. guys so we just dropped the kids off and we are starting our journey um well we dropped the kids off a little bit earlier uh, the traffic was crazy but uh we're headed to the Oki homestead expo super excited about it so um 
I don't know. This video is just going to be pieces and kind of showing y'all what's going on. And I hope y'all enjoy the video as much as uh, we enjoy being here. What a beautiful morning it is. We're here at a Vivo here in Pryor, Oklahoma. This is the first day of the Oakley Homestead Expo. We come up yesterday and uh, helped out uh, with the expo and just getting everything cheers and everything ready and uh, had a really good time. To Gary and Cassie Walker with Walker Farm Fans uh, Farm. And uh, wow, they got a nice barn coming up. The reason why we're up here for one is it's the Oakley Homestead Expo. And um, we came to it last year and it's absolutely awesome if you missed it. I'm sorry, it was a really good time. Be exactly where I want it to be uh, when I take my shot. But otherwise, um, if it's poly wire, something like that, you don't have to think anything about it. Just make sure your adventure is hot. To the expo, so we got the parking set up. Uh, talked to uh, Sean and uh, Kevin, and we're all the vendors are going to be here in the middle. So we put this no parking area. This all be parking, but super excited. There's people already arriving and coming up and talking and introducing themselves. Guys, if you didn't make it this year, you're missing out. So most definitely, about film. So most definitely, hopefully you can make it next year. Cheesecake. Thank y'all earlier for the cheesecake. Oh, look at He's going to get some. Hey, Gary's sneaking over here to get some cheesecake. They offered brains. I'm not going to turn them down. I got one earlier, so I can't say nothing. <laughs> So going back out here, uh, we just got vendors setting up. Every hey, oh my God, check that out. That dude is working. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to, I'm trying to, figure out how to do this. Try to break them down. Well, we got an oxen guy that's bringing a team of oxen in. He's gonna back up here and we're gonna try to figure out how to oh, do this and get them in. Oh, to get him in here. Yep. And, um, that's what we're going to be using for the uh, tiny house. We were told that, you know, 500, 300 would get us, like, it would work as many kids as we have. 500 was probably going to be the best. Yeah. Don't do it, Daniel. You ready? Okay. Yeah, I didn't mind at all. Well, yesterday I tried to get the hang of this excavator. It just was not working, so. Um, this is Steve, this is Stephanie's dad, and uh, Steph is actually over here on this side. He's gonna do the digging. Like I said, is he, he's done plumbing, that's what he does for a living. So we're going to uh, let him do the digging uh, while he's here. And uh, we'll, once we get the hole dug, we're gonna get the tank, we'll put the tank in, and then we're gonna go back here and run the leech lines. So. All right, guys, it is about 103 right now. Oh, 
pours the whole thing off. There you go. There you go. Okay, make sure you got a good bunch on the inside. Okay. Fold now with AC so Steph can have her uh, a commode in the AC. Yeah. We got the, uh, the shower. Um, so we're moving up in the world. We started a little bit of the floor yesterday, as you can see. Yep. So um, we're gonna we'll go ahead and come out and complete it with the shower there, and get everything ready. And then outside, uh, we finished all that yesterday. Yeah, it was right in here. It's one of those trees. If it wasn't in our roadway path, we would have kept it because it was a big, pretty tree. Yeah. But. But we had to uh, take it out to put in the road, so. They're relaxing in the shade. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'll take you, yeah, half. And then we'll, from here, we'll go over and actually start on the side side. This piece, we're gonna have to cut around that door. We'll see. All right, one more piece. Since we got the washer and dryer moved, I think we're gonna go ahead and paint this, put a coat over it. And same thing over here where the tool it was, we couldn't get behind it, but I'm gonna kind of smooth that out and paint it. Um, you know, you'll never see it, so I'm not gonna like put a level on it, so. Where we're at on our farm, we couldn't have done it without each and every one of y'all. And this thing that's fixing to show up is because y'all leave comments, y'all watch our lives, share our videos. Share our videos. Y'all don't only watch one of our channels, y'all watch both of our channels and showing your love and support to our, our family and our farm. So just don't think that you're just sitting there watching a video. When you're watching a video of a farm, not just our farm, Walker Farm, all, all of the farms out there, you are helping them with the farm. We couldn't do this without y'all. It's a big surprise. How are you? Good, good. I guess if you just pull up, we'll just unload it down here and be good to go. Okay. All right. But there it is right there. We got the rock bucket, the uh, spikes. Check it out. That is absolutely awesome. And We, that, we got the bigger size um, brush hog as well just because we use it quite often. Yeah, y'all know how much we actually do. Where do we want to put everything up here by the hay? We're going to be prepared this time. <laughs> 